Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to talk to you about the 10 things that we buy or that we have purchased that help save us money. Um, we are debt snowballing right now. We are on baby step six and we have the intention of paying our house off in the next five to six years. So this is really exciting, but at the same time, there needs to be a budget in place and we really need to be watching our spending. So one of the things, um, the first thing that we do about every two years, we purchase a state park pass. We live in Oregon and um, a lot of the state parks have day use fees of usually like $5, so it's not really that much if you don't go very often. But we live about five miles away from a, I think it's a 40,000 acre state park um, that's within our town and it has disc golf, it has access two separate accesses to the um, Clackamas River. There's a ton of trails, there's horse trails, they do um, running events, and it's just a really cool place to live next to. So we purchase a $50 pass that is good for two years, and we have more than gotten our money out of it. We probably go to that park probably five times a week. My husband will often take our dog there after work during the week um, just to go on a hike or a walk with her. They do have an off-leash dog area, so it's really great. So we have more than um, made up for purchasing that $50 pass, and it's good for two years, so it's really awesome. And that also gives us access to any of the state parks in Oregon, so it's not just for that one. The second thing is purchasing a Costco membership, which I actually have to go to Costco today. So it has really helped us save on food. And when I'm purchasing something in bulk, it really makes me um, need to. And when I am purchasing in bulk, it really forces me to like meal plan and think about, okay, how am I going to be using two heads of romaine lettuce? What am I going to be doing with all of this cottage cheese? What am I going to do with, you know, a two pound carton of apples? Just things like that. So it's really helped with our grocery budget and forcing me to spend some time every week and do some meal planning. The third thing that has helped save us money is purchasing materials for projects. So this one, I'm mostly going to be focusing on the raised beds that my husband made me two years ago. They're actually standing raised beds. Um, so they're up off of the ground. And I wanted them off the ground because our dog, when we throw her ball for her, she gets kind of crazy. And I didn't want her walking around in my garden or digging or I didn't want to have to deal with like all those pests that can um, eat at your fruit and vegetables that are just living in the soil naturally. So I wanted some raised beds and I also didn't really want to be um, bending over or crouching a lot because at that point in time I was having some low back issues. but we're good to go now. So the material did cost us some money. I think he built the two standing raised beds for about $125. So it did have some expense with it. And then obviously purchasing the plants, whether you're doing it from seed or little starters is expensive, but we got a lot of food from our very minimal garden last year. And this year I'm going to be having more time to spend on it. So we'll see that, um, that come back to us in the return of fresh food. Um, the fourth thing that has helped save us money is so far upgrading to the paid every dollar um, budgeting app from Dave Ramsey. So there is a free version, but I really feel like having um, the transactions pop up into the app is super, super helpful. That way, like it's gonna be saving me time so I don't have to be scoring through the bank account, making sure that I um, created a item for every transaction that was made. So it was only, what, $100 a year, so like eight bucks a month or something for it. So I think it was very beneficial. And we all know that if you stick to a budget, you end up saving more money or being able to pay more towards your debt snowball or pay your house off and just being on the same page with your spouse or helping hold you accountable. The next thing, number five, 
We recently um, dropped our cable. We've had cable for about two years um, because we were debt free, so it was something we decided to splurge on. But just recently, our cable package changed, so we're actually no longer getting Blazer games um, through cable. And honestly, I don't watch very much TV. My husband watches basketball, or at least he used to, um, and football, but he's decided that he can go ahead and live without it for now. So um, we just have Netflix. It costs us $10.99 a month, and we really only watch maybe two seasons of, or two episodes of a season of, right now we're watching Parks and Rec. We watch two episodes a night, and then we go to bed. So honestly, I feel like not having cable or a ton of access to unlimited shows or, or TV in general has really helped our relationship and it helps us get more chores done around the house instead of just sitting on the couch for two hours when we get home from work and essentially just wasting time. Um, the next one, so we have been doing this for the last three years. So each fall we purchase a half share of a cow. Um, it is a grass-fed, grass-finished cow. It's raised in my local area. I know the farmer, and I have a relationship with the um, processing, uh, what do they call it? Slaughterhouse? Sorry. <laughs> so I know all the people that work there, and I've created a relationship with them. So um, I've talked about this before in one of my videos that I'm not the kind of person that is going to slash my grocery budget because I believe that having um, grass-fed grass -fed or pasture-raised meats are really important to my health and um, I shop organic in some areas and then I shop um, organic um, dairy in other areas too. So for me, it's important to have good quality food that makes me feel good and that doesn't mess up with my digestion. So grass-fed beef can be really, really expensive in the grocery store. I think it, at my Kroger, you can get a pound of grass-fed ground beef for like $7.99, and that's just the ground beef. Um, if you were to go to like Whole Foods or New Seasons and you wanted a grass-fed steak, you're probably going to be paying like $15 a pound for that. So we spend about, um, I don't know exactly how much the hang weight as, was for our cow last year. I want to say, honestly, I don't know. I have no clue. Um, but we paid about $850 for our half share of our cow. And then we paid an extra $150 in the processing and wrapping. So just over $1,000 um, for that. And the meat lasts us all year all year long so essentially we're paying what 80 bucks a month for really good quality um, beef and you get all the cuts you get to pick how much how many pounds you want ground beef if you want truck roast steak if you want to keep the bones if you want to keep the organs everything so um, that's a really really great deal for us and I have it written down that the cuts average out to be $5 a pound. So, you cannot get that at the grocery store. Even for conventional beef, um, I think that that price is lower too. So, um, the next thing that we have purchased before, number six, is my husband does not go get his hair cut. I cut his hair for him, so if it looks bad, it's my fault. Um, we probably, I probably give him a haircut twice a month. Um, he just does a really simple buzz cut and then I trim around the edges and that's just what he likes. So it makes it really easy for me to do it at home. The next one is having a cash box for our cash envelopes. So this is our first month going back to cash envelopes. I did cash envelope system, um, between 2012 and 2014 when I was doing my debt snowball and it worked great. And we're going back to that. So, um, it's just a metal cash box. And I have the envelopes in there, and then there's different slots too if we want to like quickly grab cash for um, gas or groceries or whatever. Um, it does have a lock, but we just keep it in our office. And it's just like a great go-to place to have our money, have our spare change, have any coupons that we have, just to like store them all in one spot. So 
the cash box, I think maybe costs like 10 or $15. Um, but I think the value in that is that it helps us stay organized and on top of things. The uh, number nine is, this is a, um, a product called an AeroPress. So um, living in the Pacific Northwest, we have like Starbucks on literally every corner. I'm not really too snobby about my coffee. Um, so to me, Starbucks is fine. Um, but if I'm getting coffee three or four times a week, that's like, 15 to $20, depending on if I'm just ordering a drip coffee or if I'm splurging on a latte. So um, I've had an AeroPress for probably five or six years, and it costs like $25. It basically makes an espresso shot for you at home, so you can make your own Americano, you can make lattes, you can make a cappuccino, whatever you want. You can just make drip coffee out of it. Um, I guess that's an Americano if you're just adding water. But um, they are limitless and it's a one-time purchase you do have to buy uh, filter replacements but I think a pack of like 200 filters is like eight bucks and you can reuse the filters each time you don't have to use a new one so um, it's a very minimal expense that is going to save you a ton of money in the long run if you're a coffee drinker and um, if you're into making um, those drinks like lattes or Americanos instead of having drip coffee at home. And the last one, number 10, for me, I do a ton of food prep. I do like cooking, but I like, um, I often will forget to like put meat out and let it thaw. So the big money saver for me is the Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot or don't know what it is, it is essentially a pressure cooker. So it can prepare your meats for you just like a crock pot will, but if you are thawing and cooking meat in a crock pot, it can take eight to 10 hours. Whereas in the Instant Pot, I can throw a handful of frozen chicken breasts in my Instant Pot, set the timer for 30 minutes, and with compression, cook time, and um, decompression, the chicken can go from frozen to shredded in about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I know. It's absolutely crazy. So on days where, like, if I wake up in the morning and realize I don't have anything thawed or I want to cook something real quick, I just throw it in the Instant Pot, then go hop in the shower. When I'm done, my meat's ready and my lunch is good to go. So um, I don't eat out a ton. I make a lot of my food from home. But if I wake up one day and realize, oh, I was totally unprepared, then... It's not going to take me that long to get some good protein ready and pack up my meal for the day. So these are the 10 things that um, we have bought that save us money. And if you have any questions about anything, um, leave them in the comments below. And I hope that this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.